Chapter 5, Vagina Power and the Church. The foundation of the church is electrified with the womb of the woman. If the emotional energetic grid in the vagina of a woman disintegrated with the belief that the church was a sacred place, the institution would collapse immediately. The power that men have in the pulpit was and will always be given by and taken by a woman. Even if the woman sits in silence in the church and has all male power brokers in front of the pulpit, they are successfully functioning as such because she is the concrete foundation that holds their back. If the men are the most vocal and influential administrators in the church, it is because the women have gladly taken a second position and let them rule her womb via our silent permission. She is the one that ceremoniously appoints him as king of the court. The woman places a solid jewel-encrusted crown on his head and places in his hand a heavy lead-filled scepter to adorn him the most beautiful man in the world. In our minds, the preacher is the most powerful man in the community and the nation. The woman has convinced herself that this is the man that God has spoken to her spirit about, supporting as the first and most highly reverenced man of power in her life, because which resides so in her magnificent. Womb. When a woman decides to create a new life, project, or love affair with another, all we have to do is think it, and it is done on the earth or the material realm as it is done in heaven, which is the spiritual realm centrally located in our womb mind. Therefore, it is very easy for us to get the emotions of our sexuality confused with the emotions of our spirituality because they are both interlocked like our DNA. To try to separate them would create confusion and imbalance in the psyche, and to love one and despise the other creates self-hatred. They are the Siamese twins that were never and can never be separated because they share the same brain stem, which is the source of all life. This is the reason why many of us struggle with our sexuality and satisfying the needs of our vagina when we are indoctrinated by religion because we are told that sexuality is wrong and evil. When women hear the music playing from the organ and the piano and we hear the voice of an incredible orator preaching a sermon that brings the congregation to their feet with layers of thunderous applause we feel it first. Everything with us is pure, straight emotion first, which is where our central source of power is, and rational, critical thinking is second. We are taught to think coldly without emotion because we are told that it is better as a result of being able to have substantial evidence to support your theory. But what about the times when we have no facts or leads to substantiate rational thinking? We are always left with the most powerful gift that we have, which is our feeling, our emotion. However, we get in trouble when we don't understand that we function on a level above dense material frequencies. That is why I say we feel the music first, because it moves through the cords of our spiritual sexual pathways, just like a penis moves through our vagina. Vibration from music can do several things to our bodies. That's why it is so important for us to understand our spiritual sexual energy. When music is played in a church, the spiritual sexual aspects of a woman's vagina is already open, which causes us to sweat, have elevated heart rate, and hormonal changes in the body. As these physical changes are occurring, a non-physical change is also occurring that is opening neuron pathways, changing the frequency of light and sound in the energetic grids in the body and opening